During the offseason, Robinson was asked if he thought the Yankees were prejudiced. Yes, he responded. There isn't a single Negro on the team now, and very few in the entire farm system. The Yankees were furious, insisting that they would be happy to feel the black player if only one were good enough. Many whites grew to resent Robinson's increasing outspokenness, and some blacks worried that it would set back the progress he'd made for them. Jackie Robinson ought to behave himself, one woman wrote the Chicago Defender, before he ruins everything for Negroes in baseball. Reporters who had once sung his praises now called him a rabble-rouser, urged him to be a player, not a crusader. The New Orleans Times Picayune accused Robinson of being insolent and antagonistic, and declared that he had done more to widen the breach between the races than 10 of the most rabid segregationists. He was being held to a different standard. Here's a person who's in full dimension. This is who he was. Without that anger, you don't get Jackie Robinson. Do you want to know Jackie Robinson or don't you? Because he was a black man, when he was being assertive, he was being put in a kind of stereotype of black men, like angry black man. He was not an angry black man. He was an athlete who wanted to win. It's okay to be angry. Dr. King said so often, anger is a righteous emotion. It's almost necessary to your being. Who wouldn't be angry? And what we would prefer to do in America is to always focus on the person who's angry and not focus on the situation that created it. I really don't know how he survived and performed the way he performed on the baseball field. Going through all of these things, it was wrong. They wanted you to be like they wanted you to be. And we were not gonna be like they wanted you to be. We were gonna be like we wanted to be. Because somebody owed us something. Somebody owed us something. And they owed it, they owed it mostly to Jackie Robinson. <laughs>